Fair use. Get into random houses, let's go. James? Come to the front door right now, please. James? James? Hi. You man from? Hello, James. We need to speak to James. James? Hi. Hi. Um, Hi, James. Is this where the study group is? No. no, no. This is a white man's home, okay? A lot of, you know, a lot of these young black teens have no sense and are acting really bold, okay? Now, this is this is probably, <clears throat> this is England, you know, British. Um, you probably could get, a, a, get away with a lot more because it's probably a little liberal, but you never know. Because this person could have came up with a knife, a gun. Okay, the wife could also be deranged and like close the door. And those kids would have been another statistic. And everybody would be crying racism, racism, racism. Okay. Oh, you sucking up to the white man. No, I understand that sometimes there are black people that put themselves in really stupid positions. And end up paying the price for it with their lives. And this is no different. There are other practical ways to try to get a following on social media. This is one of the ways that is just the easiest way to catch a case or the easiest way to get killed. This is just really stupid. What the number is this? No. Um, you sitting in that you sitting in that man's home. Come on now. Come on. This is this is this is stupid. This is stupid right here. And they'll call me a coon for thinking rationally as a black man. <clears throat> this is dumb here. This is really stupid to do this. Why play with your life? As parents, you need to get into your kids behind and on their neck and to tell them, look, you want to be on social media? There are some rules. You're going to find something to talk about. You could talk about current events. You could talk about sports. But pranks are off limits. Okay? That is it. That is definitely off the menu. Because you're not going to cost me any money. And I'm not trying to bury you before my time. But this is not what study yeah, got kids, Absolute, you know, you got kids. absolute disrespect. Absolute. This man is very, very patient with these clowns. Absolute disrespect. Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought this was the study group. I actually thought. And this is the study group. But like I said, if something was to happen to these kids, everybody would be crying racism. This man would be in the wrong. If this man was to go buck wild, he would be completely in the right regardless of his skin color. He had no business being in this man's home. You're not, he does not know you. That man could have been a serial killer. They just picked the right, and the thing is though, you're gonna inspire other knucklehead, knuckleheaded kids to go off and do this nonsense. Somebody's gonna get hurt, or someone's gonna turn up missing. And to say it's racism, no. You made yourself a target. That's what happened here. Let me know what you think in the comments later.